everybody. Um, just want to make a quick video here. I don't know how long this is going to run, but uh, it was brought up on a post the other day about somebody wishing to have MySpace back. And the reason for that was the customizing of the uh, of what you see. <coughs> um, now, there is a way to do that with Facebook, and uh, but it, it's not the same. So, yeah, I'll get into that. Um, I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible. Okay, what you're looking at here, obviously, it's Facebook on PC. Now, this thing I'm talking about does not work on any kind of mobile device, not iPhones, not Androids, not tablets, not iPads, computers only. Um, <clears throat> so, what's going on here is, uh, as you can see, Facebook. Um, and you can do nothing with it. There's no settings or anything to uh, adjust colors, not even a night mode to make it easier on the eyes or something. Nothing. You're stuck with what they got. And while we're addressing that, why does almost every website have to look like a newspaper? White background, black text. I mean, we have color these days. Listen up, web developers. Their color exists, so we have that. Anyway, so back to the home feed where most of this happens. Trending stuff, don't give a damn, you know? Uh, stories I may like, get out of the way. I'm here for my friends, not all this trending crap and all that. And then you got all this pop-up crap like the chats and all that. And if you want to send a message, um, just go to this. Uh, yeah, that's a thing. Um, this box. So now, wherever you go, you're stuck with this box. Like, get out. <laughs> so, let me activate this thing. It is called FB Purity, or FBP. <clears throat> so I turned it off for the sake of the video, but I can't wait to get it back on. Here we go, and bang. Newsfeed. Trending crap. Gone. Um chat box down here gone notification pop-ups that get in the way gone these are the options yes beautiful uh, very beautiful um, <laughs> these are the options right here so I'm gonna gloss over these real quick Let me just open them all up um, I'm going to just scroll down. You can take a look at them. So, there, all these things, some of these things, you can hide these certain options. Other things, like image classifications, I'll touch on a little bit. Basically, you just go in here and you start looking for things. And, uh, look at all of this. Left column links, you can hide all of this stuff. You know, I have everything like games and games feed because I don't want viruses in my computer. That's what Facebook games are. They're just tracker viruses, game and apps. Don't use them. Facebook is for talking to people. It's not a Nintendo. The chat options, and I'll show you the chat options. That's the thing I touched on with the little chat box. Font color and design. Um, this is where I really get into it. <clears throat> the cherry swash, that's the text I'm using. The size of it, you can make it bigger or smaller. But if you go like more than a couple clicks above normal text size, it kind of starts compressing things. So, mm, not so great. Uh, say the colors, the font colors, you can see it's purple. You can go in here and just drag this slider, adjust the brightness, you know, wherever you want it. I like the purple hue, so I'm going to cancel. Um, background image if you want one. I, I have one chosen, but I don't have it set because I don't like the effect. And there's all kinds of stuff. And then there's another list up here. You can hide the sponsored box and sponsored stories. Games and apps, I hide all of that. You know, there's just so many options. Plus, you can go in and type CSS. If you can do that text filter, like things you don't want to see, that it's not actually an option here. Uh, if you don't want to see uh, posts with certain words in them, like here we go with racial hate crap. 
I don't want to see like these words, like that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one, that one. You know, those are just mm, icky words, and I don't like them. Ah, uh, like and share if you were my friend, and all. You know, it's just this is what you don't want to see. <clears throat> so let me get out of here. Now I want to show you the messaging. Now that if I want to take a message, uh, check out messages, instead of this little box popping up down here at the bottom, it's full screen now. Full screen. Now the only bad thing is, is that the images are still there, it's just they don't show because I'm using a background color. It's, it, it doesn't break the functionality, the pictures are still there, you just don't see them in the thread. They are over here now. And you can still click and open them. No problem. All your contacts are over here. It'll show who's online. Most of the time, um, like if I'm them, it will say active on Messenger, which they are not right now. Um, but yeah, it is pretty darn cool. Um, go to profile. My notifications are actually working. Um, text filter thing that I told you I'd touch on. Well, here's a picture of me. That only works on these feet. Durr. <laughs> My own picture. Of course it's not going to do a filter. Okay. Text filter. Image may turn one person smiling close up. So see, that's an option they have. And there's a reason for having this option turned on. Um, like, well, that's not that's an animation picture. Okay, here's another one. Image may contain dog. It's an animation. Image may contain text. Now what the reason for those classifications, those uh, text classifications are, is you can go into uh, what is it? Uh, photo stories hide images based on their contents. So you can see what the picture has in them. Let's say I don't want to see pictures of shoes. So I can go in and hide images. I can type in shoes and then click that. If you want to hide other things like shoes, boots, and whatever, and hats. Shoes, next line, boots, next line, hats, and then whatever settings you change, if you change settings, always click save and close and boom. It'll refresh and all your settings take place. It's pretty cool. Um, even if you have two computers and you want to export your settings to a different computer, you export them, you copy the text file, you transfer it to the other computer. Once you have the FBP installed, click import paste in the text file, bang, and all your settings are transferred to the other computer. It's pretty darn cool. Um, no ads. You can block ads. Of course, I, I double whammy Facebook with Adblock Plus, so I don't want to see their ads because they're invasive. Um, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. I don't have to click see more to see all my lists because it's a setting I have. It auto clicks it. Um, I have put in the suggestion for long posts to, uh, to click uh, an automatic see more because some, sometimes lines will have one, two, three, three, or five or six lines here. Then you have uh, da, 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 see more. Now to automatically open. I did contact a developer about option having that as an option. So yeah, it has lots of potential. You can customize your background. But, as you already know, you can't see my colors. And if you have FBP, I can't see yours. That's another thing I'd like to have them develop, is that FBP users can see each other's things. Like, when you go to my profile, boom, this is what you would see. You would see the black, the purple, the pink. When I went to your profile, I would see how your profile, how you have it set up. But when you go to the news feed, you would see your own color preferences. 
So that's pretty much it. Like I say, they don't have that yet, but that's FB Purity. It's pretty darn cool. So if you're on computer running like I'm running Firefox, um, Firefox, Edge, um, Chrome, what's the Apple one? Safari, there's Opera. I think it works for pretty much all of those. Um, on computers, laptops, desktop computers. Um, put, it's just a, it's an add-on. Yeah, it goes into the, uh, it's a browser extension. Boom, you know, it's pretty cool. So, that's FB Purity. FBP, Fluff Busting Purity. They do have a page. There is the fan page. So, check them out. Fluff Busting FB Purity. Just put it in up here. Go check it out. It's pretty awesome if you're running a computer. And it's one guy that does it all, so he really relies on his uh, release notes and all that for helping people out. Because um, people just swamp him with questions and complaints. So, yeah. Anyway, check it out. And if you have any trouble, just ask me. I might be able to help you. All right. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.